Scott Dorval with your Idaho News 6 forecast. Good evening again, everyone. Fires, the big story. Lots of new fires, as Isaiah Sharp was just sharing with us. I want to focus in on a couple of fires here, specifically one, actually. If you look here in the Boise Mountains, you see the fire burning north of Emmett, that large fire here, huge plume of smoke going across. It's really going to be affecting central Idaho, which is kind of getting out, not having too much in the way of smoke, but that's not going to be the case here. And here's a fire we're going to talk about here, the Snag Fire. This is Tamarack Resort right here. That's about 17 miles southeast of the Snag Fire. Fire, uh, which is about 70 acres now. The latest numbers just coming in 200 acres for the dollar fire here. But the camera view from Tamarack Resort looks in this direction here, and we can actually get the moment in time uh, yesterday afternoon when the snag fire started. We've got to watch the storm system as I put this time lapse into motion. It's going to come right up the East Mountain here, and it's going to track by. And as it goes by here, you're going to see the plume of smoke then grow here. So watch closely. Here comes our storm system from the south right here, and there's the plume of smoke right over the, and that's the snag fire right there and as the sun goes down this is a great camera here at Tamarack you see the glow of the fire here overnight and then you see a little bit of smoke in the valleys and the morning light shows that that local smoke coming from the fire is going to start increasing as those fires grow and then later this afternoon we had a wave of smoke come in from the eastern Oregon fire so smoke again a huge issue and it's going to get a little bit worse in the central mountains as we go through the days here so you see the haze around I can tell you right now this cloud right here is likely a pyrocumulus cloud from the fire. We can't see it because we're shrouded in haze here. It's the only one here, and I think that's uh, very likely the case. 85 degrees. It's comfortable outside. It's actually pretty nice now that the smoke has been clearing in the Boise area and the Meridian area. You see the haze starting to clear. We're starting to see the Boise front again, but it's a little rough for a while during the day today. Got up to 98 degrees when that wave of heavier smoke pushed on through. The temperature shot up about five or six degrees in just about a matter of an hour, which is a lot faster rate of climb than it was when we had the smoke overhead. So we may touch 100. It'll have to be here in a little while. Right now, the official high is 98. So here's the smoke model which gets updated as new fires come in. So these computer models run uh, very often, sometimes every hour. I actually think every hour with this particular model. model. And so these fires are now we're going to start to see the smoke coming from them. And so you see that yellow. We hadn't seen that in a while. You got a lot more smoke. That's what was going over is today. We go over to tonight into tomorrow morning. You see uh, some of the plumes coming out of these fires here going to the southwest at first. That eventually this smoke here will then come up later in the afternoon and come back to the north. So we're going to be dealing with fires for some time. We've now added new fires across the west. Watch the McCall area today. Watch the smoke come in right here. That was that wave of smoke coming on through. That was at 5 o'clock. It's gotten a little bit better now. Temperature at 83. Expecting a lot of 83s coming up. Forecast for the weekend 81 down to 78. A slight chance for a couple of storms on Friday or Saturday evening. Mostly in the mountains to the east. There could be some more lightning strikes. It doesn't look as bad as last night, but I'm going to keep you updated on that. In the meantime, most of the storms now are rotating to the east and this big ridge of high pressure is starting to sag down to the south here. Cooler weather is lurking to the north and over the next several days it's going to stay that way. And so the temperatures are coming down a little bit. So tomorrow instead of being near 100, we'll be close to 97 in Weezer, 94 in Boise, hazy sunshine at varying degrees of smoke around the region. And in the West Central Mountains, I think we're going to have some thick smoke at times, local smoke in Long Valley, especially temperatures generally in the 80s. Here's my extended forecast and right across the week here mid 90s 98 on Friday but Scott scores of an 8 out of 10 all the way through the coming weekend.